going on everyone? It's Rich Lux. In today's video, girl, you're gonna believe this drama. So let's talk about it. So, you know I gotta pay a light bill, girl. This video is sponsored at the house by AdamandEve.com. Thank you, AdamandEve.com, for sponsoring this video. You are always in my DMs telling me what you got, AdamandEve.com. I freaking love it. You can use code LUX to save 50% off plus free shipping. Exclusives do apply at AdamandEve.com. That's practically Black Friday prices right now. Again, use code LUX for 50% off and a portion of the pro these goes to help and fight. Find a cure for HIV and AIDS. We love companies who give back. So thank you, AdamNeve.com, for sponsoring this video. Let's get on with the drama. Okay, so we have major hot, hot tea to talk about. I cannot believe what I just saw. And I do have some honorable mentions in this video because I couldn't have done it without the sneaky snakes, without the poindexters and the drama queens in the comments down below. So we're gonna talk about Pat McGrath. <gasps> I know, I know, she's your queen. You can't say anything wrong about the queen. But there's this video that surfaced. Let me let me show you, here we go, roll it. A public service announcement regarding the Pat McGrath and Star Wars Mothership 6 Midnight Sun. The special edition collector quality case is a sticker that I can easily remove using only my fingers in about 90 seconds. That's right, they took pallets that were laying around in a warehouse. Pallets that had been on sale for about 40% off for months. Put Star Wars stickers on top of them, then increased the price by more than $50 back to the regular price. Epic cash grab, right? Mother got me this done. Okay, so let's talk about this video. So this palette that they're talking about, I love Star Wars. I love Star Trek too. Star Trek, however you wanna say Star Trek. I, I'm, a, just, I'm a nerd like that, okay? I also am a big fan of Pat McGrath. She has paved the way for so many people. It kind of heartbreaks me to even, to even say this, but I think that now it's gotten to the point where the Pat McGrath brand is maybe a little struggling at the time. I'm, I'm gonna show you in a minute. Cause you know I have all the receipts and deleted tweets. He's come here for all all the tea, all the time. Ain't no scandal I can't handle. So Pat McGrath has his palette. Check it out. Same palette, different packaging, if anyone is wondering. So um, Motivate the Earth posted this. And I was looking at it and I was like, wow, this really does look like that same palette. Like look at the look at the top colors up there. That's pretty much the same. So then I was like, that that cannot be, right? I thought that was Photoshop the house and stuff like that. And that got posted on, you know, the little the makeup accounts that like share stuff, whatever. And then I saw the video of this woman taking off off the sticker and I was like wait a minute so I went over to the Pat McGrath website and it does say uh let's say edition or limited something like that and I was like okay then there's like a special a special message from Pat McGrath herself so this is the mother vi midnight sun star wars edition 128 dollars that's expensive the Natasha Denona is shook right now okay then it says right here inspired by a galaxy far far away the mothership vi midnight sun star wars trademark edition comes dressed to duel the dark side in a special edition collector quality case celebrating the iconic Empire Strikes Back. This richly saturated, infinitely wearable color story spans a su supernatural girl. They're reaching with... I mean, they're really trying to sell you this palette, girl. Scintillating array of next generation formulas, including smoky matte burn, wait, burnished bronzes, molten coppers, and a veil of sparkling violet. Each silky smooth texture glides effortlessly onto the lids, offering exceptional blendability and buildable multi-dimensional brilliance. Create a vibrant, awe-inspiring looks for every skin tone from sublimely smoldering to boldly baroque. Now, that was like, not, that was just them trying to sell you the palette. There is a note that is on the website by Pat McGrath herself and the receipt goes as follows. Pat McGrath says, dress to stun and special edition Empire Strikes Back packaging Mothership VI Midnight Sun Star Wars edition is galactically glamorous curation of earthly inspired shades juxtaposed with otherworldly textures and finishes create vibrant awe-inspiring looks for every skin tone from sublimely smoldering to boldly baroque. And that's what she says on there and that kind of sounds like 
the other part up there, which I'm just, it just seems like that, that right there within itself, you know what I'm saying? It seems like very much copy and paste. It is very apparent that for whatever reason, they cannot sell this palette to save their life, girl. It's like when I go to Louis Vuitton and they got that same bag and they say that it's so rare and there's only 16 of them in the country and some weird crocodile one. And I'm like, girl, this is the same one I saw at the other Louis Vuitton store. Y'all just cannot sell this bag to save your life, girl. Whatever's wrong with this palette, I'll tell you what's wrong with it. It's the price. It's the price, especially because you you have Natasha Denona going on sale of two now. You got Anastasia Beverly Hills with one of their best selling palettes that uh, was at some modern renaissance going on sale for $22 now. And then you have Pat McGrath who's still stuck at $128. It's like you took a palette. Okay, here's a Rich Lux palette. Love it so much. Mm-hmm. Made a couple million dollars off of that. You know why? Cause ain't no sticker. It's 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 on there. Like I don't understand what's what's going on. Like just if I can't right now. This is cheap, and this makes her brand Pat McGrath. This will leave a beauty mark on your brand because if you're doing this, people are gonna question. Well, what else is she doing? Okay, I don't see Danessa Myrick doing all that. I don't see Natasha Denona doing all that. We were rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. What are you doing? It's just. It's just, it's, it's sad and it's disheartening. To me, Pat McGrath had a palette. I'll show you one right here. Juvia's Place, amazing palette, love it so much. $16, two blushes, have one on right now. Not sponsored, although I should be. And if you use code RICHLUCK, you'll save coin at checkout. But it's not, I don't get no kickback or anything like that, that's just for y'all. This right here, $16, people are waking up. You, the viewer, are waking up and you're saying, wow, this is $16. When a same pink blush by Chanel is like $40, $50. People are waking up, they're like, oh, we're paying for the name at this point, we get it. Pat McGrath, yeah, she deserves her flowers. At the same time, if this palette is not selling, just mark it down for the people. Just mark it down for the people. I'm just saying. Instead, what Pat McGrath did is pay for licensing, which God knows how much Star Wars licensing that is, and stick a sticker on top of it. And to, to peel it off, it just cheapens the brand. That is bad. This is, he, why is no one talking about this? This looks bad for Pat McGrath. This is a woman who has worked with some of the major celebrities on the planet when it comes to makeup and artistry, TV and film, and now has her own brand and you're pulling stunts like this. The last time that I dibble dabbled in Pat McGrath was, it was, you know, the Bridgerton palette. I thought that was cute. I was like, okay, I can see how that's on brand. You know, okay, cute, 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 right? The foundation was cute. I liked it. the foundation was cute, cute, cute. But then when I saw Star Wars, I just felt like this is cat, like, I I just don't see Star Wars and Pat McGrath together. To me, I think of Pat McGrath as a luxury brand. I don't see Star Wars as luxury. I just don't. You might as well just do Avatar palette now, girl. At that, at that point. I mean, you could have done, if you're gonna license something, girl, you could have did so many things. Like you could have did, I don't know, Skittles licensing, but then again, like that contradicts what I just said. But like, I just kind of feel like you could have did something more fun, but what you did is you take an existing palette and you just put a sticker on it and there, there it goes. Just, if it's not selling, people, you viewers, you vote with your wallets. If you don't like something, you don't buy it. That's how you vote. You vote every day by the things that you choose to buy. For whatever reason, this palette is not selling, so Pat McGrath instead of disc discounting it. Girl, you could have took that palette and do, did some mystery bomb. You could have took that palette and did, did something else with it, discounted the house, you know? Do something cool that if you buy this new, brand new palette, you get this one for free. If you buy this brand new palette, you get this one 50% off, like something. But to get on there and put a sticker over it and then to call it limited or edition or something like that, or whatever it was, whatever it was, you know, girl. There, to me, if it's gonna be a limited or it's gonna be a special edition of something, you gotta come harder than that packaging with the sticker on it, baby. I'm just saying, girl. Make it a moment. Make it like something special. I don't know. And then for why are you releasing Star Wars? It would make more sense if there was a Star Wars movie about to drop. Then, oh my God, that would've been amazing. The Avatar movie just dropped, girl. Give it Avatar palette. That Whitney Houston movie just dropped. Do a little Whitney Houston makeup. Like, do something. Do something, okay? 
Put my face on it. I could have sold them palettes like that, girl, okay? The house. Anyways, I, I think this is a true testament. It's what you don't say that says everything about you. And I think that Pat McGrath, by sticking a, a, pa a sticker over an existing palette that she couldn't sell, speaks volumes. It speaks cash grab. It speaks cheap. And I think everyone is looking, and they're not going to say nothing. Oh, trust and believe. The Patrick Star, Patrick Ta, Anastasia Beverly Hills, Too Faced Cosmetic, Tatcha. They're not going to say anything. They're gonna be like ColourPop, Kylie, Jeffree Star. <laughs> You know, you know they're all in a group message. And you you know the, the shady one of them all, darling. You know Miss Charlotte Tilbury. You know Miss Charlotte Tilbury all up in a group text. Girl, did you see that? You see that? She put a sticker on it, girl. It just looks bad. And they're not gonna say anything. And a lot, a lot of makeup artists and people in the beauty industry are not gonna say anything about it because they respect her so much. They don't ever wanna disappoint or say anything negative about her. But this is what I do. I report the news, okay? I still like the brand, but now I'm like really gonna be looking about what I'm, what I'm buying because to me, it shows that the brand is struggling at this point. If you're doing moves like this, something's going on. The calls are coming from inside the house, okay? I'm just saying. But anyways, I really wanna know what you guys think about that drama in the comments down below. I, Cause you know, hold on. We have a little investigation to talk about. This is huge, huge. This is, this is major, this is major. Anyways, so we have some comments. I want to read you the comments so you don't think I'm just up here with, you know, by myself. Here's some of the comments. It says, it was pointed out that it was just a sticker when Trend Mood posted pics of it. It was super obvious that it was a sticker too. That being said, why was this done? Because it was a low selling product that Pat McGrath needed to get rid of. What better way of doing that than by putting a well-loved license on that? The fanboys will buy regardless of what the product is. For the record, I think Pat McGrath needs a better product director or something because they've been releasing the same product palette over and over again. And that's fine because if it's not broke, don't fix it. If you look at Too Faced Cosmetics, it's the same boring boring ass shades. Look at Tarte Cosmetics, it's the same boring ass shades. I get it. But this was a bad move for them because people expected more from Pat McGrath. They expected more from that brand. Pat McGrath lately has really been a miss. Was it not always a pretty obvious cash grab though? I'm thinking the collection was originally supposed to be the other items and then Midnight Sun and the packaging was added as a way to get rid of the palette that isn't selling well. The other items seem more thought out and unique to the collection. I double checked the Pat McGrath Labs website. It does specify, says it is special edition packaging and it is the same price of the original Midnight Sun. It's a cash Grab, of course, but it's always been obvious one. Well, let me know what's seeing all that drama in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, I love you so much.